Hey guys, Red Silvers here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. It's been a little bit again, unfortunately. Just hadn't had very much time to work on my stuff this time around. So I think that the boss is going to be right near here, and we'll be able to progress in the game. Come on out. Um, but not there. So, oh, there's a missile just chilling there. Uh, how do you get it though? And now that block's gone. Aha! There's fake spikes. Okay, so they brought you there so that when you fall... Come on now, one of these is going to be a pit that I'm going to fall in. Yep, right there. Oh. It's one of those doors. Why am I getting lag all of a sudden? Okay, remember the X button, Red. Come on. Okay. So this is probably the boss right here then. Uh-oh. Uh Oh. That's the boss? Whoa! Okay, that ugly dude is the boss. And he sounds like Godzilla. Come on. Okay, that's more what I expected. The little guys. I'm gonna assume you shoot him in his belly because it's a different color. Come on. There we go. Get him in the belly with a super missile. Okay, that didn't work. Come on. He gives him quite a bit of pickups. So is he like the daddy of those little shrimp guys? Ah, come on now. I'm taking way too much damage here. Okay. Where are you, dude? Yeah, I think his belly is changing color. I really need to get some of those pickups next time he spits out those guys. Okay, so now he's going to do that, and then he's going to come back and he's going to spit a bunch of guys. Okay. Damn it. I wanted to get health, but... Okay, he's going to come this way, right? Shoot. I might find out what happens with those reserve tanks in a minute. He's going to come down again. Come on. Okay, he does like f way ton of damage when he hits you like that. No super missiles. Okay, so my reserve tanks just kicked in. And now I don't have anything. 
to fall back on. And these guys don't give any health, apparently. They just... Come on, Samus. You and me, we're gonna do this. There's all the health. Ah, shoot. Okay. Second game over. Find the Metroid larva. Yes, return to the game. Okay, I think we can handle this. I don't think that's going to be too difficult. And maybe he's going to be guarding something that'll let me get that missile also. So, that's a green one. So, right down here. I'll just worry about that later. Okay, oh, I was like, is that going to be high enough to jump out of normally? Try and do this a little smarter this time. Okay. So those little guys are going to come out. Wherever they were. And I did that, and that's... I thought that's what triggered them. I guess I just have to wait for them to go, and then the other guy will come out. I guess. Okay, yeah, there he is. Okay, come on. Come on. He does way too much damage when he grabs you like that. And yes, his belly was changing color last time when I was fighting him. So how come right at the end there, they drop so much health, but every other time they don't? I wonder if when he does the, the big spam, well that was the wrong time to do it. And that totally destroyed the background. Come on, Samus. Maybe I can get underneath him with the morph ball when he does that. No, that didn't work at all. Okay. Come on, get that health, Samus. Get out. Kind of go kamikaze on him there when he moves slow like that. Okay. Now he's bright red. He's got to be getting close. Wail on him, wail on him. Okay. Switch to regular missiles. Still got two reserve tanks. Okay. He's gonna go slow. Wail on him, wail on him, wail on him, wail on him. Okay. Down to the final huzzah. But he's turning bright red, so he's gotta be close. Holy cow. Fast dude. There we go. There we go. Whoo! Okay. Uh oh. Whoo! Babies kind of freaked me out there. Like I thought there would be more. <laughs> that was a little intense. I kind of figured out a little bit towards the end there. If I'd have just gone kamikaze earlier, I think I could have made that a lot shorter of a fight. <laughs> okay, so what's this guy got? Space jump! I'd make a space jam joke, but I can't think of any. There we go! Okay, there are places that I can use this right away. 
nothing else in here. I sure hope the bullet thing in this boss room shut off now. Yep, and you'd have to get that to get out, I think. Unless you were really good at wall jumping, maybe? Okay. So is that going to let me get that missile? Okay, you have to do a spin jump to get that started. Which makes sense, because it's all spinny. So, will that let me get that? And what I want to know is why... Oh! That's why I couldn't get the dang thing. Because it was invisible. So I just kind of made that more complicated than it ever needed to be. But there's not anything else up there. Okay. This is going to be a little tricky to learn to use. Because I don't think that this actually hits thing. It doesn't. Yeah, because I was going to say that the... One that does damage, I think, is the screw attack. Okay, so there's a room that refills our energy. Is it going to refill my two tanks, too? I don't think it did, because the auto is not lit up. Okay, so I do not have my reserve tanks right now. But now I have a sliver of energy. Wouldn't it be dumb if there was something hidden underneath this quicksand? I like this. This is handy. I'm going to have to get used to the whole... You have to spin to use it, though. Use it to go get that. Okay. Get. So at some point I'm going to need to farm at least to fill up my reserve tanks because they just paid off big time. Stupid fake Metroids. Okay, this is probably going to open up the rest of Maria to me. And that's telling me that I'm going to get the screw attack eventually. But they want to kind of make you fool around without it for a little bit first. So what's in here? A room I wouldn't have been able to explore without the... Anyway. There we go. I definitely want that super missile. Oh, there were spikes there. Um... And hitting that ceiling is taking me out of the space jump. I think there was a Talking Time Brothers level called Space Jump something. And it had the the Chozo statues and Metroid enemies, so I'm sure this is what exactly what it was a reference to. Okay, that's... That's what I want to do. Okay. Come on. It's a little weird, but... 
gonna get used to it. Alright, I thought for sure that pipe looked suspicious. Okay. Ah, yes, the King of Mario pipe rooms. Okay. Might as well top off a little bit since I'm little dangerously low after that boss fight. I'd really rather get the help than the missiles. Like that. Especially since I need to top off those reserve tanks. Okay, come on. How am I at now? Okay. So... I like that the effect there was just a blurry Samus. And I'm way back to the... Okay, I think that door up there was locked. So I'm gonna assume that now it's not. This is kind of like the wall jumping, actually, to change directions. The door's not going to be here. It's way on the other side, isn't it? Okay, I am making height. That's what I was wondering, is if I'm even going up. Where was that door? Down and around, maybe? Come on, Samus. Okay, I guess if you don't do anything, you just get your regular jump height, which is probably that's the, the warp pipe. This is a little obnoxious to learn. Come on, Samus. Okay. So the door... Uh, was there not a door going here? Then how the heck do you get to that area? That is weird. And I don't know. And I'm way at the end of Meridia that everybody says nobody ever does. Well, I haven't really done a lot of exploring, but I think I'm going to go ahead and save my game anyway up here and call it a video. And I can fool around with this next time. And maybe I'll, I'll think about what, what's in that area that I can see on my map. Alrighty, so go ahead and save. And until next time, this has been Red Silvers. Have yourself a good night.